Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to sample the perfect kick. Here I've got a techno loop. I'll just play it for you. Now I really want to get that kick out of that loop. Okay. I think it sounds great and I think it would work well in a track. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to try and isolate the kick. We have a bit of a click on the end here we need to remove. Okay, that's sounding pretty clean. There's no clicks or pops that I can hear. So then we just open the kick up on its own. All right, so now we've got the kick sample but we have a hum over the top and a background noise which we want to remove from the kick. So we'll use this as an example of where we started. And then we're going to start extracting the lows, mids and highs from the kick separately. So first off, we are going to bring the equalizer down to around 200. Of course, this is a general rule of thumb. You always want to experiment and find exactly where the highs and mids are sneaking in and ruining the sound of the kick. So here we have the lows taken out. And now we'll repeat the same for the mids. So this time we tend to work from around 100 to around 1K. Sounds about right to me. So now we have low and mid extracted from this kick. The next and final section is the highs. We're going to extract from around 1K upwards. So we tend to go around this level here. So now what we're left with is the final product. As you can hear, it sounds exactly the same as the original kick. So obviously we don't want this as the final, final product because it still has the hum in the background, right? The idea is to get the original kick extracted from the loop. So this is where the, the real effective part of it comes in. What you tend to do is allow bleeding in the samples. So I'm changing all of these to generic. So then when I edit the kick, it allows the bleeding of each section to merge together into one. So I have the sub play in here. And then what I'm going to do is gradually edit the mids until I like the sound and it's removing some of the hum. So as you can see from the waveforms there, we're keeping 
the nice thick section at the beginning and then we have the sub tail attached to it and then we want to add the nice click from the highs Now, as you can hear, we've created a lovely techno kick extracted from this original. And we are left with this. So as you can see, it's removed that hum and that background pad and that noise, which is distracting you from the kick. And it, you don't want to add that to your track because then you're taking parts of the original track. Okay, if you sample in this from a song, for example. So then what you would do is you would go back to Edison and you would record the kick. And here you will be left with a perfect kick sample ready to be used in your tracks. And there we have it. This is the original. Right here. With that nasty hum. And here's the one we've just created. There we go, guys. We have created a perfect techno kick to be used with your tracks. And get creative. Find the best kicks that you can. Try and create them yourself, of course. Or use them from sample packs. But if you find a song that you really love the kick. And you want to use it in your own creative way. Then this is the way that you can sample it. From any song. Any loop. Any situation. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.